is a very big day because we are packing for phase two of travel. Packing videos have been one of my most requested videos and packing is such a huge process to me so I haven't quite done it yet but today I'm committing, I'm taking you guys on the journey. If you're new here, my name is Jess, so nice to meet you, I'm so glad you're here. You're in for a really big adventure because we are heading off onto phase two of our full-time travel adventure. So just to give you a little bit of background, so my partner, Steven, and I, we wanted to take these years of our youth to go out and experience the world. It's something that we genuinely love so deeply that we're so grateful to be able to do and we just are so excited to get back out there and do more of what we love and I'm excited to share it with you guys because I love to make videos, share photos, and document the whole adventure. So when I refer to phase two, that is referring to our upcoming adventures, which I'm going to explain to you in just a little bit. But phase one is what we did back in 2021 and 2022. So during that time, we decided to head out to Europe and the UK, taking our lives on the road, digital nomading, slow traveling, whatever you want to call it. And that's what we did. It was just the best experience of my life. We've been thinking about going back out there and doing more of it ever since. And I'm just, I'm so excited to do it all over again. So packing for this sort of situation is no joke. Um, this is not gonna be your typical weekend trip or even just a vacation. Like you have to think of it as travel living, like combining the two words. It's not a vacation, it's more so of a lifestyle and condensing it into one of these guys. I don't really have a suitcase brand that I'm obsessed with at the moment. I'm still on the search for it, but this has been my handy dandy suitcase that we've taken around the world and back. It's literally from a Disney gift shop probably at, I think it was Pop Century or Coronado Springs or something. And it's been a really good suitcase. It survived the entirety of phase one, which was at least 11 countries, if not more, and a few trips in between. So I love the size of this. I love the storage of this and that's what we're going to be using. In addition to this, so we are envisioning as of now, everything could change. I think we're gonna each bring our own big suitcase and then we're gonna bring one third big suitcase for any sort of overflow or extra space that we need. The other really interesting aspect of this particular phase and what we're doing is that we are going to some very cold temperatures. We definitely did some of that last time and it was probably the hardest aspect of the whole experience was packing for the cold. We're up leveling that whole experience this time. We're going to ease our way into it, but we're going to gradually get colder over the first three months. The itinerary that we have, everything is subject to change. By the way, whenever I talk about travel plans, we booked Rothenburg, Germany, our home base number one, Vienna, Austria for home base number two, and then Rovaniemi, Finland for home base number three. And the months you ask that we are going, <laughs> November, December, and January. So it's going to be the coldest time of the year. I think it's going to be also so beautiful. We have Christmas markets to look forward to. We have snow to look forward to. All of the enchanting and wondrous things that are awaiting us. All of the surprises and delights. I don't even know what we have in store, but I'm so excited to find out. We're going on this journey together. That is basically what's going to take up my suitcase room in here. I think we should just start getting packing. As you can tell from this mess in the back here, I've already pulled aside a lot of items that we're going to bring. Just notice that it's really hard to find warm, thick clothing here in the States, at least where I live. And I know it's October, but I don't know, Buffalo is really cold for like six months out of the year. So we're gonna pack what we have. Come pack with me. We're gonna have a good time. 
we're gonna make this a really fun experience. Packing can be stressful and I totally get that. I totally feel that. I've barely been sleeping because I just keep thinking about all of the packing I have to do and all of the things I wanna do before we go. But it's gonna be fun and we're gonna be proud of ourselves by the end of this. My intention is to enjoy the process and think very clearly about what we need and just feel that like assuredness of preparation by the end of this process. So come pack with me, let's get started and pack for phase two of travel. We're gonna pack, let me grab what I've pulled aside so far. There's a lot here. <laughs> I think the first thing and the easiest thing to look at is gonna be sweaters. So this is from Old Navy, pretty decently thick sweater. You have this from Amazon. This is pretty thick, heavy fabric. This is from Cabela's. I really liked the print of this. It felt very warm and cozy. And then this sweater is pretty warm and thick. I like it because it's a Christmas color. Now, as far as middle layers go, this is a Disney Cruise Line Alaska shirt from like 2018. So, you know, very spirit jersey style as most things were in 2018, but the fabric's really good on that one. This is from Aerie. This is a good like underlayer shirt, pajama shirt. I figured it's important to have just a few little t-shirts just because sometimes I do get warm at night when I'm, you know, sleeping. So I thought I'd go on theme. I have a little Wandering Oakens Trading Post Arendelle shirt, which is on brand for Finland. And then this would be more so for if we go somewhere warmer after it's Aladdin. I'm gonna just go leave it at that. As far as pants go, I know that I definitely am going to bring these black pants. I did get them from Stitch Fix, but the brand is STS Blue. These are literally the best black pants I've ever owned and I rebought them because I brought them for phase one. I just, I wore them out and I was like, I hope to God they still sell them. They did. As far as jeans go, I don't have a pair of jeans that I love. The only one that I actually love right now, it has holes and rips in them, which is just not gonna be feasible for in the cold. So, however, one of my biggest packing tips for long form travel is you want to bring clothes that you like and you feel like decently cute in, but you wouldn't feel bad getting rid of them. What we typically did last time was we kind of purged things that we weren't using anymore. You might get sick of it, number one. Number two, it might get worn out and ratty um, just from being washed and being worn so constantly. Like these clothes are in it with you. They, you know, don't last as long because they're getting more use, which is great because you really are using them to their fullest ability. I think leggings will be important. These cutie socks are from Columbia. We have a Columbia outlet here. I know, I have so many shorts. I'm gonna need to get rid of these, it's so silly. Do I wanna bring a pair of jean shorts and carry it through the winter? I don't know. Silly. These Barefoot Dream socks, I'm sorry, Barefoot Dreams is worth the money. Like, I haven't really bought anything besides the socks yet, but I'm obsessed with them. My dream is to have one of the blankets. I literally think I would live in it. They're so comfortable. This is for like a, you know, like a headband like this. Heat holders. This one's really stretchy and it's really warm and fuzzy. Like, look how fuzzy that is. We're bringing that. We're also bringing hot hands, hand warmer pack. Will they have these there? Probably. Am I taking a chance now? Like we have to bring these. So we've got all that. Let me grab the other things that I bought really quick out of my closet. Okay. Again, we went to the Columbia outlet and this is from Old Navy, so whatever. <laughs> this is a flannel that I got. I really like the color scheme. It's like a black, white, and like brown neutral type vibe. These are probably the smartest thing that I've bought. They're Columbia pants, but they are snow pants, active fit. It's called Omni Heat. So what they do is they line the inside of the pants with this Omni Heat technology that I guess traps the heat from your body and from the pants and like 
keeps it insulated for you, which is great. I'm just really grateful that they had something like that. This is a, <laughs> hello. This is one of those under layer shirts, again, with the Omni Heat technology in the shirt. And I got one of these in black and one of these in this maroon red. I wore it yesterday to the park to kind of test it out. It's, you know, 48 degrees here instead of like 14, but um, I felt really comfortable. I had that, a sweater and my coat on, which was really good. So I'm debating if I should bring my Ugg boots. They're staples, they're classics. There's nothing more comfortable than these. <sighs> See, they're just so comfy and they're easy to slip on. So maybe, and then let me go grab my coats really quick. One second. This one right here, I got this at Columbia. It's a thinner jacket, so it's, but it's got the Omni Heat technology. It's got a fuzzy hood. I kind of like this vibe. Let me go get something else. This is from Old Navy. It's very like plush and soft and big when you put it on, which I've just found like you need a big scarf in these kinds of temperatures. If you need to like put it up on your face, that's helpful too. So love this. This is from Columbia as well. I like the colors. I like the fit. What I really like about this too is this inside fluffy layer, which again, just lays on your ears. So this is arguably the most important item that I'm gonna bring is my winter coat. The brand is Craig Hoppers, which is a UK brand as far as I know. I got it when we were in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and it was so funny. I went out to Europe and I brought a jacket. It was a black one, it had a furry hood. My fatal flaw is that it was from H&M, so it was a fashion coat and it contained no warmth. And because I have like so many weird like health things, I thought I was just really sensitive to cold and it was just not holding heat whatsoever. So Steven like threw it on one night to go like run outside. I don't know why he brought my coat instead of his, but he came up upstairs and he was like, your coat is so thin. He's like, this is ridiculous. Like we have to get you a new coat. He went to the mall that was close to our Airbnb. The coat store was having a sale because it was the kind of getting close to the end of the season. And I tried on every single coat in that store. The woman was so nice and we landed on that coat and I'm telling you, I'm never getting rid of it. It's so warm. It's like triple insulated and it's just, it's just a dream. So definitely, definitely, definitely bring it out. All right. So that's like pretty much the clothes that I have set aside here. So let's get packing. I'm going to show you guys how I use my packing cubes, especially for big items like these, like the thick, heavy sweaters. We're going to use the packing cube method to pack them so we can fit more in less space. Alrighty, I'm gonna show you packing cubes. But first, here's Benny. Oh, my baby. I'm gonna miss this puppy. So packing cubes, let's talk about them. Everybody has a different opinion on packing cubes. For full-time traveling, I give it a 100% yes. So I just get a pack on Amazon. It's the Shake Pack brand and I got them in like this cute beige color neutral whatever color this is they come in a few different sizes this is the big one this medium sized one a small medium sized one and then a small one I think I'm probably gonna put my sweaters in this big one and hopefully just by doing that it will be heavy but at least it will be condensed so I can fit more things in the overall suitcase. So let's pack that up. So when you're using packing cubes like this, you really want to make sure your clothes are folded and rolled very small. So I like to roll them up in a little ball like that and then push it all the way to the side. If you kind of zip one side of it, you can push 
the items to make some more room so you can definitely fit more in here. And you can still kind of see there's a little room up here. So we can definitely fit some other stuff on top. Maybe I will just do these long sleeve shirts. There's that. So that fit a lot of really big sweaters and long sleeve shirts. And honestly, you can even, we could fit something here too. See, and then you can fit even more in there. It may be busting at the seams, but that's okay. Um, we can always get new ones on Amazon. And then I try to squish it down. And there you go. That is the fully packed packing cube. So now as far as packing the main suitcase goes, what I've got going on in here is this big zipper up top, this huge open space, and then there's this open front portion here where we can fit some more and then items just get tetris in here the only thing like i wish this suitcase had i wish it had a little side zipper um, and maybe some division up here but again this is just from a disney gift shop so i wasn't expecting it to be anything more articulate and fancy than that so this does the job really well the first thing that we're going to put in the suitcase for phase two this is a really big moment <laughs> We're going to put our packing cube along the edge because that is where it's going to take up the least amount of space. We'll be able to squish it down with the top really well and we can fill in all of this other space with additional clothes or anything else that we need. So one of my main methods of packing is using Ziploc bags. So we're going to go through all of these socks here. These are going to be thicker socks. So this is one of my options that I'm not positive if I'm going to bring yet, but I really want to. The most European type coat you can possibly think of, like everybody wears a coat like this and it's really heavy, which is not the most convenient for packing, but it's so cute. Oh my God, I got a little beef jerky in there, chops for snack, but um, I just, I think it would be adorable and I'm envisioning it with this scarf and this hat. And I think, I think I just have to, I mean, I'll tuck the scarf in and everything, but I gotta look in the mirror. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to try and fit that in because that is very cute. Also, I got these gloves at Cabela's Finding gloves that actually keep the tips of my fingers warm is a huge challenge. Um, so we'll see how these go. Heat holders, that's the brand. When I tested out the little finger pads in the store, they actually worked pretty well. I'm gonna try these out. I like them, they're not super bulky. They seem warm, so stay tuned. I'll let you know if they are worth it. So I'm still wearing this coat and I'm trying to figure out what to do next. There's just so many things to remember.
This is a whole day event, I swear. Just watched the Bills game, the Bills lost. We're moving on. Clothes, I think, are at a good place for now. Now I'm gonna kind of move on to more of like stuff. We're just gonna start like putting them in the other suitcase, which I have down here. These aren't like total necessities, but I think they're smart things to bring. They're more so to like make me feel better, feel safer, things like that. I got a travel size air purifier and one backup filter. It is the Pure Enrichment air filter and it's from Amazon. I'll link everything in my storefront in case you guys want to see the specific things that I ended up getting. Here's the air filter. It says True HEPA air filter. Um, I hope it's super effective. I know it's small. I usually use my little molecule air purifier up there. You can see it on the top of my shelf. I got exposed to toxic mold in 2019 and it sent me on like a chronic health journey. Um, so that's just something that I have to be super aware of when we're traveling. We kind of ran into that a couple times during phase one. Um, so I just didn't, I didn't want to deal with having to figure out Amazon there or things like that, which I'm probably still will for some reason or another. But so then the other thing, um, this is a newer thing. I haven't brought one of these before, but a carbon monoxide detector. You just like, you just never know. That might just be me being like overly cautious or anxious. Like we've always been fine without it, but why not? you know so let's just keep let's keep getting things together um let me see what do i even need to do so let's see so this is something i'm going to be bringing for sure this is my year of growth journal from dreamy moons literally my favorite journal ever and it's so beautiful she like hand does this whole journal i've been getting them since 2021 um, and there's just great places to like do journal prompts, daily spots to write. Oh my God, this is so pretty. That'll be nice just to be able to do that while we're out there and have a little keepsake when we're done. Okay, next we're doing makeup because this is decently easy. This is my 2016 Vera Bradley makeup bag that's really been through it all and I've used it for every single trip since. That's like seven years of this makeup bag. It's kind of the best. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but there's two pockets on each side and then there's like a big pocket here and a space for your brushes. All right, so here we go. So number one is primer. I'm gonna bring the Too Faced hangover replenishing primer fenty beauty for eye shadow primer um, i like this mary Kay brow gel these tweezers from tweezerman as far as eyeliner goes i'm gonna definitely bring my rare beauty eyeliner foundation wise i love the it cosmetic cc cream the oil free matte one and then i get the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte foundation literally this is my favorite foundation. I've been using it probably since 2017. Um, I get it in shade 190. And I kind of like to combine these two. I like that this one has some SPF in it. That's really nice. Uh, I usually bring like a little pair of these scissors, which is great for like eyebrow trimming, but also if you need to like cut a tag or something, that's really helpful. I like to bring a white eyeliner pencil for like the corners of my eyes there. Um, or sometimes I'll do like the under layer there. So I freaking love this one, the Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner. And it's white. It's the best one I've ever gotten. Like usually I just get one that's a pencil um, and sharpen it, but this needs no sharpener. So we love that. As far as lip liners go, we're gonna bring the classics. We've got the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liners these rose wine and wino apparently i love wine in a lip liner some bronzer we'll do the Too faced chocolate soleil i'm not bringing full brand new makeups i just want to use up what i have i've had this for freaking ever too like it just lasts so long my artist couture highlights these are so beautiful i don't even oh god i just spilled a little bit this is priceless gem. I saw a girl wear this at Disneyland in like 2000, 
16 again wow throwback but um her highlight was like shining through adventureland and i went back and i bought this and this has been my favorite highlight since it's called coco bling by artist couture so i'm gonna bring that one because it's got more of like a silvery tint i have one called illuminati as well but that one's a little bit more gold which i also really love but i think i like like this highlight is just like it's just better it's more vibrant so if we're going for like a snowy look we want that one i've got the clinique blush here cupid is the shade so here's the inside sleek palette i love this yellow one for like the nose contour honestly either of these are so nice for the cheek highlight this is this is just my favorite i will get that for as long as i possibly can laura mercier translucent powder a classic definitely will be bringing that for concealer i have the ilia concealer in the shade yuka i will bring a little q-tip container and i need to refill this before we go but um that's always good for you know under eye cleanup so i'm so tired from packing <laughs> so let's keep moving so artist couture they have eyeshadow as well but they're like very very sparkly this stuff has probably been discontinued for so long and i use it every day and i don't know what i'm gonna gonna do when i run out of it um it's the stilla lush lips water plumping primer if anyone has a recommendation of a new one that's actually still in stores let me know they never brought them back so i'm just gonna bring these and probably use them up which is sad but reality definitely gotta bring my color pop amaze specifically is like my lazy day eyeshadow like when i'm not doing a full like color palette and I just want to like swoosh over amaze is my go-to it looks so good every time and then as far as lipsticks go we are just gonna pick out our girlies for phase two so we've been using Jeffree Star in this makeup routine for years and years I'm obsessed with lipstick not obsessed or condone the behavior however I cannot find a better formula lipstick than this. The ones that I'm bringing, I have Celebrity Skin. Leo is my 100% top favorite. It's this one that I'm wearing right now, actually. It's like a brown. Like, if I could only pick one, it would be Leo. Down the aisle is this one. This is a new find. Big fan. I really do like this one. Thickest Thieves. This one's a little bit more, not red, not orange, but kind of more in that family family jewels this is like a brownish purpley color it's like one of my deep colors and then androgyny is this one this one's more deep purple so that's what i've got i'm gonna bring these so that's one two three four five six seven listen i cannot eliminate those are those are like my staples and actually i am gonna bring one more um the project chimps Kat Von D. Is that even what it's called anymore? Who freaking knows? This is the best red that I've found. It does kind of get everywhere, but I used to get Jeffree Star Wifey and that's been discontinued. Um, as well as Sagittarius. That was like my really purple lipstick, so I'm really sad about those. Okay, I'm gonna bring one of these because it is Christmas. I do want to have like, a Christmas lip option. That's really looking good. As far as my brushes go, I've got them here. I'm gonna need to like wash them. Moonlight Cover FX um, liquid highlight. This is really good. I also love this Ren Instant Brightening Eye Lift. That's a like go-to favorite, but again, I don't even know if they make this anymore. I haven't done mascara yet, so we probably should do that. I'll bring the Tarte Opening Act Primer. Definitely the telescopic carbon black. I've literally used this since high school um, when Kristen and I, my podcast co-host, this was our mascara in high school. I still use it. I think it's so good. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what to bring. I mean, I have the Superhero by It Cosmetics, which has been my go-to for years, but it's kind of, this one's kind of old, I think. 
but should I just bring it and use it up? Probably. Also have Ilya, which could be good. Much to think about. Oh my God, I almost forgot this too. My Fenty Beauty contour stick in mocha. That I definitely will be bringing to. Also a beauty blender, gotta have that for sure. But that's gonna be washed as well with my brushes. So, okay, we're going to go through this and organize it. We're gonna keep moving on. As far as hair goes, I have my curling iron and straightener from back when we were there last time with the European plugs. So I figured these would come in handy again. They're not the best quality, but they do the job. So I'm, I'll just bring them and hope they can hold up for the journey. And here's the straightener. And I might have a little less hair to deal with by the time we get there. So. That would definitely work in my favor for these. I do bring some of my essential oils with me. I mean, peppermint oil is a non-negotiable, obviously, but there's a few that I really like to bring. I'm gonna pick those out and then I'll tell you what they are. We have eucalyptus, which is really good for the shower, tea tree, is just an all-time fave. I just like the smell of it. This cedar wood, it's not even like any particular brand. It just smells amazing. Pine smells like a Christmas tree. Lavender for the high stress situations. Digest Zen, which is again good for digestion. Humility is just one of my all-time favorite scents. It's so good. I put it on my nose like when I'm meditating or before I go to sleep. Thieves is good if you have a cold. Breathe is great for any sort of stuffiness or respiratory stuff. It's like Vicks, but better. Something I'm always, always, always going to bring is this Listerine Cool Mint Breath Spray. Just helps with keeping me calm and my anxiety, and if I ever feel like a little panicky or nauseous or something. For some reason, this stuff works, so definitely bringing a lot of these. I did get my hair cut since the last time you guys saw me, so that's new. So here's the semi-final look at the backup suitcase here. It's kind of like a mini pharmacy, so I've got supplements here. I brought a lot of my own trusted brand of menstrual products. I like the Honey Pot brand a lot, so I'm just gonna bring whatever I had and use that up because I just, I prefer it, it makes me feel better. We've got winter boots under here for Finland, which are gonna be a must. I've got some, my little hat. I like to bring an ice pack because that does help if I'm, you know, having any panic going on. We've got thick socks hats. I've got a COVID test just in case. We've got the hand warmers and down here is the straightener and curling iron for my hair. 
Then in this one, I've got some more backup stuff. This is like in case we run into a bug bite situation. I actually really love this thing. Um, more scrunchies, headbands. I've got some heads for my toothbrushes, Neosporin, nail file, nail polish, and like breath sprays, band-aids, extra razors. Again, those are like my miscellaneous items. So it's great for a miscellaneous suitcase. I also have electrolytes. I love LMNT for that. And also these noon tablets. So pretty stocked up on that. These are those tummy drops that are good for nausea. So I've got a little pack of those. That can go in there. And then there's still a little room right here. That is pretty much the overview of what's going in this suitcase. I've got a big bag of snacks to bring along. I like to make sure I have a combination of savory and sweet. Number one, we've got chomps. These are really good for the savory aspect and for some protein. I love to bring some tea. Peppermint is great for digestion. Echinacea is good for immune system. These crackers, just, you know, little peanut butter, little protein, sort of. I love these fig bars. They're really good and the gluten-free ones are way better than the regular. This is my favorite brand of granola bar, Kate's Real Food. You can see I even have my name written on one because I love it so much. Highly recommend these. This is not an all the time snack, but I did snag a bag of these just because they bring us joy. And this has been sitting in our cupboard for a while and I thought what better time than to bring it with us now. Again, here we go with the Ziploc bags. so much for watching this pack with me vlog today is the day we are heading out of here everything is all set to go it's a process i feel very prepared which is what our intention was and that's a very intimate thing to share with people um what you bring in your suitcase but i wanted to show you guys just so you can kind of get a better idea of what it takes feasibly to do this full time anyways that's everything we're gonna head off to the airport literally in like an hour or two so we will see you in germany thank you so much for being here i love and appreciate all of you i'm so thankful you're here for the journey if you are new here make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can also find me over on instagram tiktok jessica Fay 508 or i also have a travel blog theroadjusttraveled.com so we're all over the board we're excited to have you let's go explore the world together and see what is out there for us to find. Mm -hmm.